it's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get a roll into the news. Hey, man, it's been a whole lot of drama. And I'm here to cover it. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. It's Agent Beamstar. Subscribe. Make sure to drop a like. Let's hit 20K. Well, for our first story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Oh, there's been some drama in the 2K community. It's like all these YouTubers been going at it and I'm just taking screenshots, man. I'm not missing my, it doesn't matter where I am. I could be outside, I could be at my crib. I'm hitting all the screenshots, I'm not missing any. First up, Chalk put out this tweet on Twitter. Chalk, by the way, was the first legend on NBA 2K20, in case you didn't know. Happy birthday, Ronnie. Congratulations on your overall success with NBA 2K and your career. Wishing nothing but more to come. Enjoy it and block out the negativity. Oh, that's a harmless comment, right? You might think. Nope, not in the 2K community. It started a whole uproar. Nade TNB responded to that tweet with a clown emoji. He's calling him a clown for that tweet. Haven't you been begging for a logo? I guess I'm a clown though, right? Who are you? LMFAO. You tweet about me constantly and was crying that I unfollowed you. So you obviously know me. You literally quoted this tweet in minutes so you clearly keep tabs. Go kick people out of your clan for views, bro. For those who don't know, Chalk here is just referencing a recreational activity that Nade likes to engage in where he just kicks people out of his clan for absolutely no reason. It's hilarious. <laughs> So he's just taking some shots right now. Nate though decided to fire back. He responded saying, you do realize even if I don't follow you, tweets still pop up on my feed when people like your sh right? Kick people out of my clan for views? I do it because my stream tells me to and I never post it, LMFAO. Who TF are you without top rep? Oh, Nate, you went for the heart. Oh my God, I wonder what he responded with. Oh, it was Nate again. I've been grinding my whole effing life to get to where I am today. I came from nothing to something. Have lost a lot and bounced back like no other or no. Nate, come on, bro. What's good with your grammar, my guy? I'm struggling to read your tweets. We got to figure this out. Me and you together. We'll sit down and talk about it. You're a effing rider and soft AF. And if you want power and want to wager next month for 5,000, we can put the money up. Oh my God. This is what I like to see, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's some drama in the community. Let's get some content out of it. We're getting a wager, hopefully. I stream on an effing daily to entertain my real fans. And you don't do what I do. Your videos are effing boring. And people watch you for top rep, not because you can entertain someone. Ah, 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 shots being fired, shots. Yeah, you grinded your whole life to throw it all away because you don't know how to act. I don't feel sorry for you. Every single negative that's happened to you has been self-inflicted. You still clearly haven't realized that by reading your tweets. First of all, you guys should stop doing this because a lot of people in the 2K community do this. And I can't trust nobody no more because y'all just leaking DMs for no reason. Uh, but Chalk decided to do it here. He captioned it. People really switch up just because it's a cool thing to do. Keep your circle small because even those who act like they got you never really do. And there's a screenshot of Nade in his DM saying, congrats on the success so far. Wish nothing but the best. I'm not a hater. And if you met me in person one day, you can see that. Keep going. Hey man, that's, hey, Nade is trying to be positive in the DMs. I see that. The thing is, is things change. You know what I mean? Nothing stays the same forever. So I'm just saying that you can't make Nade seem like he's acting out of character because opinions change all the time on things. Also, I think it's kind of corny that you're gonna see it later on in this 2K drama as well. There's been a lot of leaked DMs. Someone buy dude a pair of new knees. He needs it. Bandit responded saying he needs a Oh my God. Okay, you guys are kind of going a little too far, okay? Okay. <laughs> Power, who's in the same clan as Chalk, put out a tweet saying, Ronnie2k, happy birthday. You know this community is full of sad losers when they get mad over wishing someone a happy birthday. Haha, <laughs> y'all really need to get a life or something. Nade tweeted, tell Catfish DF to unblock me real quick. I wanna go off on that MF2. Oops, he'll report my Twitter like he did the other three times. LMFAO! Chalk responded saying, ah, gotcha. So since you stream every day in fake rages, you're entertaining? Hold on, let me load up and cuss out a 13-year-old for views. I'll be right back. 
Dude Power has 300k subs and pulls 300 viewers on a live. And when I stream, he ends his shite right away because I take all his viewers. Oh man, guys, mwah, mwah, mwah. this is that good quality classic, juicy, juicy, juicy drama I live for, all right? So shout out to the people who are participated. Hopefully we can see some content out the situation. We could get a wager. That's how we settle things in the 2K community. It's a wager. Put $5,000 on the line, fellas. For our next story of the day. Oh man, have you been keeping up? As of like a couple weeks ago, the band hammer has been heavy. If you've been cheating in these park events, 2K's been coming after you, man. A couple videos ago in my Discord video that I did, one of the people mentioned it, he was banned. But there was a lot of people reacting on Twitter. Bandit put out a tweet saying, yes 2K, ban all these event fiends. People really cheat, get banned, then go on Twitter crying, what did I do wrong? And y'all defend them, crying laughing emojis. Power followed up saying, nobody should be banned for boosting or cheating guys, it's 2K's fault for allowing you to boost and cheat. LMFAO, y'all don't take responsibility for anything. If you cheat, fine, but if I cheated, I'd be reasonable enough to accept my ban and not act like I'm innocent. And then there was like a whole onslaught of all kinds of people, some try hard players, some YouTubers that were getting banned, and. It wasn't really clear as to why. Or maybe it was to them, but they just didn't want to tell everybody on Twitter, so this is what it looked like. Beast put out a post saying, number three with 30 minutes left and I got banned. Even Annoying got banned. He decided to publish a video on his YouTube channel explaining exactly why. Nadex, clueless to the situation, <laughs> put out a tweet saying, why dude's getting banned? LD2K decided to, you know, allow some clarification on the matter replied to a couple people curious about all the bands saying, LD, do you guys not see the board for Ruffles? People are boosting in different servers in Asia. LD responded, and the ban hammer will await them. Our developers have been serving bands recently. If I had a penny for every, I did nothing wrong except tweet, crying laughing emoji. 2K banned me, I feel like 2K took my soul and I'm lost in a black void of hopelessness. Oh my God, that's so sad. You can get through it, man. Damn. Shoot put out a tweet saying, someone help me, I don't know what I did. I was in the middle of a rec game. And it's a screenshot saying this user has been banned due to a violation to our TOS. Contact customer service if you feel this was done in error. Bandit put out a tweet saying, when the boosters and delayers get banned on 2K. Oh, it's a meme. Guys, it's a meme. Wow. Oh yeah, they banned, they yeah. <laughs> okay, um. That was the worst video I ever watched. That was like, yo, that was a zero out of 10 for real. What, what was that? Birthday cake bash, cop it. Agent 25 is the code at checkout. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna love it. And then you're gonna tweet me or DM me on Instagram saying, agent, thanks for putting me on. You're welcome, my guy. Things was getting pretty serious for some 2K players because Beast put out this post saying, saw my band timing change, so I contacted support and they told me they escalated it to a permanent ban. Oh God, <laughs> man, what the hell? F in the chat for all the fallen soldiers who got banned on NBA 2K20 today. I mean, there was a whole slew of people. There's no point in me trying to cover everybody. It was thousand. I guess the moral of the story is, stop trying to cheat in these park events, man. What's wrong with some of y'all? Doesn't mean everybody who was doing glitches or boosting was banned. It was just a lot of them were. So if you were a high profile guy, you probably had a higher chance of getting caught in the crossfire. For our next story of the day, the feud between Cash Nasty and Flight Reacts continues, ladies and gentlemen. Flight Reacts was just putting out this innocent tweet. He said this, New York got the best spots and vibes to hoop, which is true. Of all the cities you can go to, New York is a first place destination when it comes to most fantastic basketball playing experiences. I'm telling you right now. LA is a close second, all right? Cash Nasty responded to Flight Reacts saying, why are you still attempting to hoop? Flight Reacts responded to Cash with a gif of the Ronald McDonald clown putting a thumbs down. Cash decided to fire back with this video. Guard that though, Cash. I would have made the same shot too. Uh, for those who haven't kept up, every time Flight Reacts plays a 1v1 in basketball, Cash Nasty reacts to it on his YouTube channel and vice versa. For our 
Oh man, guys, I know I'm a little late with this 2K drama alert to a lot of the news, all right? My apologies, guys. I was just trying to make sure there was enough juiciness to make one fantastic episode to keep everybody up to date. But for those who don't know, NBA 2K social accounts were hacked. I mean, NBA 2K, WWE 2K, Ronnie 2K, the 2K Facebook, across the board, they were all being hacked. It was unbelievable. Now, I didn't want to cover this, and I'm not really going to cover it because I don't like giving situations like this publicity. But at the same time, it's a little funny. Just a little bit, though. Of the funniest reactions I've seen while all the hacking stuff was going on, the award for funniest tweet goes to... Steezo! Who put out this tweet saying, Ronnie2k is the type to get hacked and come back flattered that they chose him of all people. Hashtag it means they care. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Steezo, 10 out of 10. Ronnie2k tweet tomorrow morning. Last night was a movie. Got hacked, but everyone on Twitter was talking about me. I guess that makes me a pretty important guy. Lol, take me back. <laughs> Uh, for those who are a little bit curious, yes, it was the number one trend on Twitter because it wasn't just one social that was hacked, it was all of them and there was a lot of reckless stuff being posted on it. WWE 2K20 was the first to officially address it. They said this. We are aware that social media accounts across the 2K label have been compromised and offensive material has been being posted that does not reflect the values of 2K or our partners. We act, we are, we are actively working to fix this as soon as possible. Even Keemstar had a reaction to the situation, man. Look at this, man. Camaraderie here. You know, the fake journalist and the very real, very well-established journalist, Agent Beamstar. <laughs> 2K hacked is kind of funny, not going to lie. I agree wholeheartedly. Anyway, I'm not gonna show the tweets or nothing like that. And it is like a horrible, unlucky situation because Ronnie has a whole lot of sensitive stuff in his DMs. He is a contact man at 2K. I know for a f I'm not gonna, mm, okay, hold back agent. Out of all the accounts that should have been secured to the T, it should have been his. Eventually, after a few hours, 2K got a handle on all their social media accounts. I mean, the dislike for Ronnie 2K within the community is unparalleled. I have not seen anything like it in any community in my entire life. Look at this exchange that happened on Instagram. Ronnie 2K puts out a post, right? And there's a caption, having purpose in life means being a part of something bigger than yourself. Now, shout out to Ronnie, because I know he works closely with Make-A-Wish, and there's some kids that request meeting Ronnie. I don't know why, right? Because out of all the people, I don't know why it would be him. But, hey, that's, that's their dream. Ron can't be mad at them. And Ronnie helps out a lot. And in that case, shout out to Ronnie, bro. Good guy Ronnie in the building. But um, he is so disliked that the replies often end up looking something like this. I bet it was a setup. Why would anyone want to meet you? Ronnie responds, you'd be on a plane immediately to come shake my hand if you knew where I was today. Just stop. <laughs> he responded, I'd rather get AIDS than shake your hand. Maybe actually learn to keep your promises when promoting a game with your supposed marketing skills. And Ronnie2k literally responded to that guy with the praise hands emoji. I'm telling you guys, I have never in my life seen anybody that dislike. Actually, that's, that's not true. Ah, he's top three at least of all time. This 2K drama alert is brought to you by Bang Energy. Go cop some bang, use code AGENT25 at checkout to get 25% off your order. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we got some my team news. Oh my goodness. It's a short story, but it's one that I found really interesting, so I know you're gonna find it really interesting. There's a guy by the name of DBG who put out this post on Twitter. So 2K has released the exact same card twice, same stats and badges, and just changed the position so it's new content. I called this exact thing happening pre-launch and people called me crazy. And so he lent two screenshots, one here of Luka Doncic as a small forward slash point guard and one here as a small forward slash shooting guard. And if, if you go back and forth, the stats are absolutely identical. And 2K released those as two different cards. My team is the game mode where it is the easiest to create new content. Just create a player, get a graphic for the player, give him new stats, and release him into the wild. In the park, it's a little harder because there has there's some level design, you have to optimize it, and the gameplay needs to be adjusted like this, to, the meta has to be like that. This is my team. To add new content is very simple. It takes one guy and probably a couple hours. 
So the fact that they're so lazy that this happened, I think it's crazy. And I'm very surprised this didn't blow up more than it did because I found it fascinating that something like this is going on. Anyway, short story, but I thought it was interesting. G-Man put out a tweet before the launch of 2K20. He said, if 2K20 flops, I'm making a premium snap. You gotta make your money somehow. You can't be mad at the guy. Anyone who sees value in me, please don't read this tweet. <laughs> So Davis decided to respond to that tweet with a disappointed Russell Westbrook meme. 2K20 is not off to a hot start, ladies and gentlemen, and nobody's happy about it. There's a good chance in a couple months, G-Man might have to make that account. But he doubled down responding to Davis saying, MFs thought you had the wagon, wait till they see my snap. <laughs> So the funniest interaction of the week goes to G-Man and Davis. Congratulations, fellas. For our next story of the day, I'm so thankful that LD2K is working at 2K because he does a very fantastic job of just relaying the messages we have as a community to the developers. So at least they hear and know what we're saying. Whether or not they act on it is their business and also affects the game. There was an interaction that was really, really interesting on Twitter. Uh, a guy by the name of I Park Cards added LD2K and he said this. Are you guys able to turn on previous 2K servers? Wouldn't you make more money doing that? Question mark. LD2K responded to him and said, I've advocated for it. There's a lot I can't get into detail here that I advocate for, for our community. And if you guys haven't been paying attention, there's been a little bit of a movement in the past few months of people asking 2K to revive some of the servers of previous 2Ks that are now shut down, including NBA 2K15 and NBA 2K17. Oh, no, sorry, 17. <laughs> that could stay in the ditch. NBA 2K15 and NBA 2K16, which is true. They could continue to make money off of those games. So I don't really understand why they shut them down. I mean, to give you a good example, Call of Duty, you can go back and play on like Modern Warfare 2 servers or COD 4 servers right now. Now, every single lobby is filled with hackers, but that's besides the point. Nobody's asking 2K to change the meta of NBA 2K15 and 16 or improve this or that. We're just saying, could you turn the servers back on? It's a good question. And I don't know why they turn them off. Well, obviously it must save them a ton of money because otherwise why wouldn't they just keep them on? But I'm kind of hoping that the movement picks up some steam because I would love to go back and just play 16 Park or 15 Park from time to time. The fact that we're just limited to the past two years is very, very sad. This right here is absolutely delicious, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, 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 mm. Agent Beamstar approves. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been an update to the story. Look what we have here. NBA 2K Intel put out this tweet saying, some words about the old 2K servers being re-enabled again from a 2K dev. The dev team is working on 2K20 and building for a brand new console generation. You'd be okay with pulling developers away from a brand new console generation of 2Ks to manage servers from years ago for a very small group relative to how many people play the game, question mark. But like, that's assuming it's a lot of work. It's not a lot of work, my guy. It has to be money. It has to be money, because you're not gonna convince me that it takes a lot of developers to keep one, two, or three servers running on 2K15 and 16. No one's saying you have to patrol to make sure no one's cheating. No one's saying you have to update the game. It's about turning the servers on. You're acting like there's not plenty of other games we could look at that do the same thing. But besides the point, I wouldn't take this guy too seriously because Ronnie2k actually replied to this post saying this. He's not a dev, but I addressed it directly on my stream yesterday. It's not even feasible. It's impossible, guys. You know how like Call of Duty does it? Or many, literally any other game. Battlefield, you can still hop on some of their old servers. No, no, no. For 2K, guys, it's an impossible ask. In reality, it's not that big of a deal. We probably wouldn't even go back and play it that often. But why are we acting like it's a, it's a huge thing that we're, we're asking for? It's really not. Anyway, um, besides the point, <laughs> Badge Plug responded to that saying, y'all have made over a billion in profit the last three years. Tell me how and what's not feasible. Way more than a billion. Way more, way, way more than a billion. One of the interesting things that the original post said, and I quote, and before you say hire more devs, consider that too takes time. It takes human resources time. The human resource guys are not preparing and coding the game, all right? What is, am I the only one here with logic? Yes, it takes time to hire people. Human resources hires people. Developers develop the game. They're not gonna develop the game regardless. Hire more human resources people then. Oh, y'all acting like there's no solution to the problem, which I think is the craziest part. 
But regardless, who cares at the end of the day, right? You probably go back and play it a few times, that's about it. Anyway, for the next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, fall is over, you know, winter is upon us. So everyone's kind of wondering when the next 2K20 park update is gonna be. Uh, well, look, here we go, guys. NBA 2K Intel again. He put out this post saying, soon. And it's some screenshots from the original trailer before the game launched. And if you remember, it looks a little like this. What is this? I don't know, what, what is that photo? Is that a tree? Did you just, did you zoom into a branch? So everybody's wondering when the winter park is going to be revealed and if it's gonna be better optimized than the fall park. For those of you who have a regular PS4, you know just how egregious the optimization was. Even on the PS4 Pro, it was a struggle, but if you have a regular PS4, it's almost unplayable. So one, I'm excited. Hopefully we get a chance to see this glorious park in action. But two, hopefully it's optimized well so that the performance is good and we can play the game without lagging and a ton of latency. All right, back to present time, Agent. On the screen right now is the last 2K drama. Get, get in touch with the news, all right? You haven't been keeping up, I know. Uh, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, merch. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>